Very often we receive the question if it's necessary that diagonals follow their zigzag pattern. Before we start, it should be noted that the following explanation only counts for trusses with an end frame. If you are unsure whether your truss fulfills this demand, we advise to contact us or your supplier. At first you should be aware of a couple of facts. The allowable stress for tension and compression for aluminium is the same. The material starts to deform at exactly the same moment. For other materials, this can be different. Tension and compression alternate throughout the span, depending on the position of the load and the suspension points. The failure mode of diagonals depends on A. The strength of the weld B. The strength of the heat affected zone C. The strength of the material which is not affected by the heat of welding and D. The consideration of buckling of a diagonal under compression. The diagonal's load capacity is limited by the weakest of these failure modes, which is mostly buckling. In this example, the diagonals follow the zigzag pattern. The vertical upright end braces absorb equally the center point load. Diagonals under compression are indicated with a C and those under tension with a T. The following picture is derived from a calculation program. Blue lines refer to tension and red lines to compression. The higher the force, the thicker the line. It can be clearly seen that the load in the diagonals is equal. For the ease of this video, we will not discuss the load in the main course. In this example, the diagonals do not follow the zigzag pattern. The diagonal on the left side of the middle immediately takes 50% of the load, while the diagonal at the right side receives the load after it's transferred via the end brace at the right side of the middle. It should be noted that in this example, the effects of main cord stiffness and eccentricity by the copper have been neglected. The difference in loading of main cords can be seen. Again, the loading in the diagonals is equal throughout the truss. If a load is placed out of center, forces still follow the zigzag pattern. However, diagonal to the nearest support take gradually more load.